Hi everyone, this is Tara with Craft and Desert Divas and I wanted to stop in and give you a product release close up for our October release. First of all, day one sneak peek was the new Rudy Stamps. It's a 4 by 6 set. It's got the little reindeer here. One stand in. This one has a little scarf and a hat. This one looks like he's singing. I think he's the cutest. I've added some little music notes, a fa la 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 a little sentiment and a little lantern there so that's the new little Rudy set I think it's super super sweet I love those little reindeer they're so cute and we also showcase the new inline dies these dies are huge let me tell you they are so great just love 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 them Lee designed these and let me go over them real quick and show you this one is an angle die as you can see, I've used it for my layer here on my card. I'll go over that in a second. We have a couple of big speech bubbles. The angle and the speech bubbles are all double stitched, those three. We also have a sentiment that says thanks with the two hearts, a tab, some banners here. This punches out a whole bunch of circles. But this one here probably has to be my favorite. It's just a, a die that embosses the stitch and double pierce pattern which I love because I'm always wanting stitching around all my layers and all everything on my project I guess I'm just a little obsessed with the stitching so this is perfect you can take it and add all kinds of stitching to all your projects so I just love it and let's see my dice come like this I wanted to go over that that's all you need is a little a wire snips and you just snip off the little pieces here and then you can store them how you like to store them. I like to keep them like this when I send them out so they don't bang around, get bent up, or anything like that. So they come just like this. Just take a pair of wire snips. I'm sure you or your husband has a pair. And um, this is sort of what they look like. This is my set. It's an old set of my husband's. Just take them and go in there and snip them up. And they come apart real easy. And then you can store them on magnetic sheets or however you store them. But I like to keep them like this for shipping purposes. And let me show you um, my card that I made for those two. This is my sneak peek card. I had lots of little questions on the reindeer because I think he's a cutie. What I did, I got some watercolor paper because I tend to like to do my distress inks in blending on watercolor paper. For some reason, it just seems to blend a lot smoother for me. So I blended up some Distress Ink there, took some glue, and let me show you what I used here. Flower Soft Polar White. After I did the little drops of glue everywhere, I put it over there, and then it sort of gave the little snow effect. Can you see it there? I like that. This little tree here is from my Chill Out stamps. I colored both of them up with my Copic markers. This down here is from my outdoor landscape dies to get the little snow hills and as you can see I took this little stitch pierce die and I did the little stitching along there can you see it there I love little stitching and all my stuff so I did that there the sentiment is from the new 5x7 tis the season I heat embossed it in white added some sequins from my Mary Mix sequin mixes and the card was pretty well complete I did add some little Wink of Stella to his nose. I don't know if you can see it shine there or not, but I love Wink of Stella pens too. So this was day one sneak peek. So let me set this aside and get you for day two. That's day one. Day two we did chili and stitched in circle dies. Let me see where my dies just went. Hold on one second. Here they are here. Okay, so let's go over the stamps first this is the new chili set it's a five by seven I had lots of cute little animals I wanted to include and little uh, extras snowflakes the ice I did a, a pile of snowballs a heart the little hat so I had to do a five by seven set there's the little wolf the little polar bear the little walrus, the norwal, the little bunny, and it's got lots of fun little sentiments that go with them all. And as you can tell on my project, I used the little polar bear, and I did mask it and add the hat to it. But before I go over my project, let me show you the dies, because I love these little dies. I think they're perfect. It's a perfect little set of scalloped and 
regular circles. It's got a little wreath in here. I think they're super, super fun. It's got little stitching, my little stitch and pierce pattern on the inside of this one. This is a regular circle with the pattern. Another scallop. There's the wreath. Another little circle and these little pieces here that are perfect to punch out little pieces inside of the other ones. So this is the stitch and circle dies. And now let me go over my project with you. This was my project. I did a little shaker card here. You know I love my shaker cards. I first of all started out with the watercolor paper. I used my zig markers and did the background. I colored it in and when it was wet I put some salt on it to get that little that little um, crackling effect. It's really not crackling but can you see it there? I like that little effect when you look at it. And I lightly colored in the little bear with some gray. He doesn't really need much coloring in. I did color in with the zig markers his little hat. I added some little Glitter, but you really can't see it to the little top of his hat and the little balls at the bottom of the hat. This is my snow palace sequins. I've used the in stitch dies to cut out this circle first, and then I've used it to place the little ring around it. I took the snowflakes and stamped them in different colors of the blue of Tim Holtz Distress Ink. This banner down here, sentiment and everything is included in this set. The banner, though, is from my Mix It Up dies, but I think it came together really nice, and it's a cute little shaker. I really like shakers. Everybody knows that. So this was for day two. So let me set this aside here, and let me get you out what was day three. Okay. Day three was the Polar Pals. We didn't have, we just had two dies this time. So here they are. Let me get the white backer so it's a little bit easier for you to see them. Okay, here we go. Let me go over the stamps first for you. This is the Polar Pair. Polar Pals, not Pair, sorry. <laughs> and uh, this is a 4 by 6 set. I sort of went with like a best friends theme. I thought they could be used all year round. It's got the little bear with the little penguin. Here they are on a little sled, a little rope. I think this one sort of looks like a little snowman bear. Really cute though. I like the little hat and the little broomies holding. We've got lots of fun little sentiments here. You're the best. Friends till the very end. Best friends forever. You'll always have a friend in me. BFFs. So I think it's a really fun and cute little set that can be used all the time, not just around the holidays or anything. Okay, so let me show you my card I made. I made another little shaker card, but this one I did a little bit different. I decided to get out my fuse tool and I made this little packet behind that I did the little fuse tool on the ends and I added some of my snow palace sequins. The bottom layer here I did use the inline dies to make this little stitch pierce along both sides. You can see it there. Then I took the big uh, speech bubble and since it's double stitched you can make it cut it out and it leaves it along here which I like. So I did that but I did it twice on this paper and this is long enough so I took the pa the the other the second piece and I flipped it around and I did it for up here so it really looks like a speech bubble and I put it up here I did take some of the snowflakes and heat emboss them but my white was aside and I accidentally grabbed another one and you can barely see the snowflakes on there but it wasn't white it was some other color I can't I can't think of it right now but it didn't show up very well but it's still pretty when it hits the light you can sort of see them shimmer a little I colored them up down here, that little bear, and I think that little penguin is so, so cute. I think they're perfect together as BFFs. Then I did my outdoor landscape dies to make the snow hills again. This little balloon here is from my party dies. I like the little heart balloon with the little stitching on it. I did the little string. I thought it would be cute if you wanted to send it to a friend during the winter months or any time. I think it's really, really fun and sweet. So this was day three. So let's move on to day four. Day four was just a sentiment stamp set, but it's a big one. Tis the season. This one is another five by seven that I did. I did a lot of just fun little sentiments, nice and big so they can fit on your cards. Let me go over them and then I'll show you the project I did. 
Let me set him over here. This is a little project I did for this one. Merry Christmas. Tis the season to be. I put some single words down here. Merry, bright, and jolly. You can mix those up to go with that. Enjoy the season. You got a candy cane. Wishing you the merriest holiday season. Naughty or nice. Very Merry Christmas. Don't be a Grinch. Hope your holiday sparkles. That one looks like it has little sparklers on the bottom. Holiday hugs and mistletoe kisses. So I think this is a nice, nice just sentiment set. That way you can mix and match it with all your little images or whatever you might have. So let me set this aside. And here's my project that I made. Again, I did some distress inks on um, some watercolor paper. I took my fancy framed eyes and punched out the bottom. I took the snowflakes from the new chili heat and bossed them in white. I heat and bossed the sentiment, tis the season to be merry. My banner is from my mix it up dies. And this is from Rudy. I think it's super cute. What I did, I wanted him to look like he was holding the little candy cane. The candy cane's on this set here. I cut it out. I cut out his little paws twice, and I popped them up on some some uh, foam tape there. So it sort of looks like he's holding it. Can you see it there? And then um, I took some, I have a snow pen. You put it on there, then you heat emboss, and it sort of puffs it up. Can you see how it's a little puffy there? So I think this is really cute and sweet. I like it. I'll be sending it out for the holidays. So that was day four. And I quickly wanted to go over this little banner here, this little banner die, the little mini banner die. This you will get. You don't need to add anything if you order for this weekend. $40 or more before shipping and tax. This will automatically be added to the first 60 orders only. After that, it will be added into the shop for sale. But I think it's really cute. It goes on a lot of little things. Um, lots of the design team's ladies used it here. I punched it out here in silver. I also, I was making um, some other, getting ready to make some other little cards. Here I punched out the little, in, the stitched in circle, the little reef there. Here's the little gold banner here. I was going to make a little shaker here. I just didn't get enough time to do it. But I wanted to show you, I like these new inks that I found. I think they were at jo either Joanne's or Michael's. I can't remember which one. But I really like these little inks for the holidays. This one is golden glitz. And this one is silvery shimmer. Isn't, aren't those pretty? I think they're perfect for the holidays. But what I did, I punched these out. I even did a silver one here. And then I took that with my little dauber, and I just inked them up, and I really like the way that they look. I think they'll be fun. I used those. I'll show you a little card that I made. I even did some of the little hearts in that um, on one of the, I forgot what set it's from. One of my dies, I did the little hearts, and I inked them up. But um, let me show you, let me move these out and show you my hot projects here. Okay, day one of the hot. I used this one here. This is my day one project. Let me get this out of the way for you. Okay, my card. I like it. I love that little Rudolph singing. I think he's so cute. There he is. I colored him. I did the stitched and circled die to get that piece there. I got some gold and I heat embossed all the little notes. The fa la la. I like that. I like how it shimmers too. This one I cut out is one of my other dies. I, I think it's pocket pieces dies that I cut this bottom layer out. This is some doodle bug paper that I carry in my shop now. And then I took the little hollies, colored those up, put them at the little bottoms. I had some little gold, um, here it is, metallic thread here. I used that. I did some little circles, put it underneath. And this was my card. I also took the inline dies and I added some stitching on both sides here. I like that. So this was my first day. And then um, let me give you a peek of one other. I'm not sure when I'm going to share this one yet, but I made this up with the inline dies. I did the thanks. I cut it out about four layers to make it a little thick and pop it up and I put them all underneath. This one here, I did some watercolor paper. I did some distress ink, but I got some new on um, my design team member, Lisa. 
she showed me some texture paste so of course I had to get some and try it out I made my own stencil I found these little hearts in the uh, silhouette store and so I cut it out I cut out some um, an acetate sheet here let me show you how I did it it, it looks a little dirty from the texture paste but that's the best I could clean it and I cut them out and then I laid them down I think I might have it backwards there I laid it down like this you add the texture paste with a little palette knife and then they turn hard and then I just distress inked over them and I sort of like that little effect of the coloring but this was pretty clean and simple but I think it's a nice way to make the little die stand out that says thanks so that was that and um, I really think that's about it this is everything that's in the release I hope you enjoyed it all there's a lot of new stamps and dies. Make sure you go order early enough so you can get this free little banner this weekend. That's a nice little piece to add to your collection. Um, other than that, I think I'm all done. Have a great day, and I'll be back next month with more dies and more stamps, and talk to you then. Bye-bye.